It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. We got another beer from Trav in Australia. This is called Dark Unicorn. It's a 500 milliliter can of Australian craft beer. It's by Counterculture, Stone and Wood. It's a salted chalk scotch ale coming in at 7.6% ABV in a 500 milliliter can. Independent craft beer from Australia. I'm looking forward to this one. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. A little bit of smoke on the can opening. Beer in the glass. A salted chalk scotch ale from Stone and Wood. I've been drinking a lot of these counterculture beers to the point where they feel very familiar for me. And it's really unusual to say that because you never see these beers over this side of the world. I say this side of the world because this beer is from Australia. And they're being sent by, I've had some beers sent from Mick, the Counterculture series. I've had some sent from Trav. I'm 99% sure this was sent by Trav, but if it was sent by Mick, I do apologise. What the counterculture style of beer is, or what it kind of represents, is the brewers of Stone and Wood are able to do things a little bit differently. Differently, Brew kind of one-off beers. Play around. Have fun. And this is what it's all about. It really is. We've got a very small, very slight, one finger white head, good levels of carbonation. Looks like a scotch ale, a strong scotch ale, but with a little bit of maybe hopefully roasted malt. Let's get the aroma. It, it, there's a little bit of haze in there as well, but yeah, aroma. That's interesting. It's an interesting one. You get the big, strong, I'm going to use the word barley wine. I'm going to use the word barley wine because in the, in the rest of the world, uh, barley wines are kind of like strong ales. But in Scotland, they like to call their beers kind of something else from, from what the generally English like to do. So... They call them Scotch Ales. But if you, th if you don't quite understand what a Scotch Ale is, or you've never had a Scotch Ale, but you've had a barley wine, just think barley wine. It's another name. It's a Scottish name for a barley wine. Sweet, malty, biscuity, bready. Mm. Not too much in a way of chocolate or salted chocolate on the nose. There's a little bit there, but I'm, I'm presuming that most of it's going to be in the taste of the beer. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Oh, um, I almost want to start this next sentence by just saying good night. <laughs> just oh, closing my eyes, saying good night, and and just sitting back in my in my armchair. My goodness me, what a beer! Go on.
Do you know what's really interesting about it? It's quite salty. It's quite salty. You get a little tickle of chocolate. And it's it's not roasted malt chocolate. It's definitely like a synthetic chocolate, which they've used a small amount of. But they've more than made up with it with the salt. It's it's like a salty barley wine with a hint of hot chocolate. It's bonkersly good. It really is bonkersly good, but very different. Very... It's one you have to really think about, get your teeth into. Really kind of pull from your brain what you're tasting. That malt, that biscuitiness, that full-bodiedness, the saltiness, the chocolate. carbonation it's not massive the carbonation but it's enough to push the beer on the inside of the mouth for at least more of them flavors this is a beer that I, I once saw somebody do this years ago At a beer festival. It was the Great Welsh Beer and Cider Festival. This is a 500 milliliter can of fantastic craft beer. But I don't think you necessarily want to drink the whole glass in one go. This is... I don't have any. But this is like put a... Put a beer mat over the top of this once you've had enough of it and then just leave it on the side you can cook you could with a, a beer at 7.6 percent abv you could leave it on the side with a beer mat on it keep the flies out for about 24 hours and you could still come back and enjoy it you really could I just feel if I, I mean, I could easily, it's not that it's over sickly, it's not that it's kind of, I don't want to drink it all in one sitting. I could, I could drink it all in one sitting and then like start a project that I shouldn't have started. Like, I don't know, like, like the wife comes in from work and I've, I've got the the old RSJs out and the scaffold boards and I've I've knocked another wall out in the house, you know? That's the type of thing that happens when I when I drink a 7.6% ABV salted chocolate scotch ale in the middle of the day. Well, it's just about the middle of the day, isn't it? It's five to twelve. Yeah. Where's the RSJs? <laughs> It's blooming good. It's hints of licorice. I like the full bodiness. I like the flavours. There's a little bit of a bitter astringency on the back end. At first, I thought that was kind of tying in with the salt. But maybe they put a, a good bit of kind of dry hopping in this beer. Dark, uni dark unicorn. Wow, the description's massive, and it's it's not that I got bad eyes, but it's gold print on a black can. So I'm really going to have to kind of like squint a little bit to read this out. Uh, above the powdering waves and jagged cliffs of Scotland's Clow Moor runs a strong beast who is the last of his kind, the Dark Unicorn. A symbol of power and passion... Sightings of the elusive creature are rare, but tales of his 
majesty of fill the halls of Scottish taverns for generations. Well, according to age-old accounts, at the drawing of each winter, the dark unicorn makes its way down from the cliffs and into the towns to deliver strength to the Scottish people to carry on through the final dark days of the long cold season. I kind of, I get that. I'm, I'm right there now. I'm looking out the window. It's dark, it's raining, but it's the 10th of March which means that we're, we're coming out of winter, but it just, it just doesn't feel like that. It feels like we're, we're, we're still cemented into winter here. And then it just breaks. It just, spring turns on, it just breaks. And yeah, everything's wonderful for a few short months. <laughs> uh, taking inspiration from this tale of power and majesty, Counterculture presents Dark Unicorn, a, a malt-driven Scotch ale aged in starwood whiskey barrels with lashings of chalk, a touch of salt, an ABV of 7.6%. The perfect combination for winter's last cold days. Capture the magic of Dark Unicorn while you can, for it may not be seen this way again. Amazing how a Australian brewery have caught wind of a story that I never knew existed. I never knew existed. Uh, amazing. Perhaps they have a Scottish brewer at the brewery there. But I'm going to rate it. Uh, they said lashings of chocolate with a pinch of salt. I'm going to go the other way round. I'm picking up quite a lot of salt with a pinch of chocolate. It's big. It's deep. It's bold. This very beer is going to get you through the last days of Scottish winter if, if you drink the whole lot in one go. Because um, you'll probably wake up tomorrow. Um, and then want to drink another can. But it's good. Lacing's good. Carbonation's good. Looks good. Smells good. Tastes good. I like it enough to give it. There's a little bit of an astringency that I'm not quite with in this beer. It's kind of... I think it's the salt. I think I might have had a... I think maybe another can you'd be picking up more chocolate and, and I got the salty version. But but I'd say 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Thank you very much to Trav in Australia for sending the beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.